going to go around the circle like we always do, and you're going to say your name, and then you're going to introduce to the rest of us a dance move. It could Brian, I'm not going to do the robot. <laughs> so my name is John O'Brien. I work with Audubon California, the Landowner Stewardship Program. We do uh, habitat restoration projects like this all around this county and Calusa County and Solano County and, and really all around the area. What we're really trying to do is create a habitat corridor here for wildlife, for birds, for different mammals, for uh, insects. Why would the insects be important? We'll talk about this a little bit. That's pollination. So today we're going to be planting a couple different species of plants. Anybody remember what this is? A rock. No. <laughs> it's a seed. I'll give you a hint. We definitely collected these. John, we got, we got it. It's a seed. It's a seed. What kind of seed? Not no. A tree. Tree seed. <laughs> Anybody remember the specific type? Green. It looks like it hangs from a spring. Yes. It's been sized in a Yes. Yeah. You guys are getting close. So which species is it? The Ohio State. Ohio State. Starts with a B. Girl. <laughs> I'll give oh. you a hint here. I'll give you a hint. A male deer. Eyeball. I. Oh, 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 she got it. She got it. Yeah. 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 Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, so this is a buckeye. So this is a buckeye, and this is a species that a lot, normally grows in these riparian areas, and so we're going to be planting it today. Another species we're going to be planting. What? Uh, what is this thing? It's an acorn. What does it grow into? I heard it. An oak, yeah. So we're actually going to be planting a couple different species of oaks today. We're going to be planting blue oaks, which are actually this oak. You see right down here, there's a big tree right on the stream. That's actually a cottonwood. And then right behind that, there's a, there's a blue oak. You guys see the tree right behind this cottonwood here? So that's a blue oak. And then another species we're going to be planting is a valley oak. And if you guys look at all these huge trees, Right down here, there are three of them right in a row. Those are all big valley oaks. Oh. So we're going to put the acorn on their side and kind of stuff it into the ground. The reason we're putting it on its side, what's going to happen is you can already see on some of these, a little, a little root is coming out of the tip. And can everybody see that? A little nub there? So what, the, what that root's called, it's called the radical. And that's the embryonic root. And it comes out of the acorns like this, and then it goes straight down. And then another little, another little root, another little stem is going to come out, and it's going to shoot straight up. So if we put them like this, that's good for the root. That's not good for the stem. The stem's going to have to fight its way through the soil and then finally get to the surface. So we, want, we like putting them on their side. That way the root can go down, and then the little shoot, which is called, goes up. So this project was made possible um, by a group of different funding sources. Um, the Nature Restoration Trust, um, which is a partnership between PG&E and the National Fish and Wildlife Service, um, both contributed to a grant that helped, one, have students uh, involved in the restoration work, but two, allowed us to buy the plant materials and to, to pay for our time to, to install these projects and to work with the local landowners to, to do all the planning. And in addition, the Wildlife Conservation Board, which is part of the Department of Fish and Game, uh, provided a huge chunk of money for us to work on a number of projects along this stream, ranging from the pg e project upstream all the way down to the first residential houses in the city of Winters, which is a couple miles down. So all the landowners between here and there, um, we have active projects, planting native trees and shrubs, involving local community, either students or volunteers or UC Davis students. Um, so it's been a, a very great project in terms, in terms of 
um, complementing the work that had already been done at the local bobcat ranch, but also um, allowing for us to connect these pieces of habitat and to provide an actual habitat corridor for wildlife to move through. So.